Hello, my name is Chip Plus. I'm the sales manager for sludge drying at LCI Corporation. Today we're going to take a look at the thin film dryer and how it processes sewage sludge. The thin film dryer is an indirect dryer taking either steam, thermal oil, or hot water as its heating medium. This medium is placed on the external heating jacket around the circumference of the dryer. Internal to the dryer is a rotor blade combination which conveys the sludge through the dryer. Sludge is directly pumped into the dryer without the need of complex back mixing or extruding systems. To understand how the dryer works, we can look at a cross section of the dryer. The heating medium is on the external circumference of the dryer, transferring its heat through the inner heating jacket into a thin film of sludge, which is painted onto the heating jacket by the rotor blade combination. This rotor blade combination also creates agitation as the sludge is transported through the dryer, which allows the sludge to enter in the sludge phase, be processed through the sticky transition phase, and leave as a granular product. When the sludge leaves the dryer, it's at a high temperature, usually around 200 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, a cooling system is required to cool it down to 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, the sludge will exit through a rotary valve the purpose of the rotary valve is to limit air intrusion into the dryer. Looking at the diagram, the sludge flow is from right to left, and the vapor flow is from left to right. The vapor exits the dryer and goes into a condenser system. Inside the condenser system, cool water is sprayed, condensing out the distillate or condensate, which goes back to the plant for further treatment, and a small amount of exhaust air is exhausted for odor or emissions control. That is the thin film dryer in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Also, please like, subscribe, and follow our social media.